Often in physics, we have the force as some function of the separation variable. In this case, we have the second derivative of r with respect to time uh, is equal to f of r. And I've left out all the constants here. We're just looking at how to set up the differential equation. Well, we can use a trick where v is equal to dr dt and write the second order equation as a first order equation, where dv dt is now a function of r. Now we can use the chain rule and write that dv dt is dv dr times dr dt. Remember that dr dt was simply v. So now we have that dv dr times v is equal to f of r. Now we can separate variables. On the left, we can write v dv, and on the right, f of r dr, and we can integrate both sides. On the left, I integrate between 0 and v, and from the right, I integrate from big R to little r. Remember that big R was the initial separation of the masses. The primes are just to distinguish the integration variable from the upper limit. The left-hand side integrates to v squared over 2 because the lower limit is 0. And on the right, we still have this integral. Now we can write v as the square root of this integral, which is also equal to dr dt. So we have dr dt is equal to the square root. And we can separate variables again. We write dr over the square root is equal to dt. And now I can integrate both sides again. Uh, on the right, I'm integrating between 0 and t. And on the left, from big R to little r. Now the left-hand side is simply going to be a function of r. And on the right-hand side, it's going to be t. In order to get r as a function of t, I then have to invert this expression. For example, if this was sine of r equal to t, then r would be equal to the arc sine of t. So the problem that we have will be like inverting something like 1 over the square root. 